I'm going to make a stamp for my nephew Fraser and uh, I'm using SketchUp here with the export to STL op, uh, plugin installed because I'll be printing this on a MakerBot. So this is a new uh, file in SketchUp. Let's go to view it for just from the top. We're going to start with drawing a rectangle that will be about 100 milli I'm in millimeters here, 100 millimeters by 25 millimeters because 25 is about the height of, well, it's a little more than the height of the letters we're going to draw. We will push that up uh, one millimeter here, so I pushed up ways I hit the one on the keyboard, so that's one millimeter. I'm going to draw a rectangle just for reference here that is five by five, just so I know where I'm going to put my 3D text. And tools 3D text here will be... And here's the pop-up for the text. We'll type Fraser's name. Height I set at 15 millimeters. I'm going to extrude it five millimeters. And you can choose your own font, whatever you want. Okay. I'll place that on here at the corner of the rectangle that I drew earlier and we now have uh, Fraser across here. We can erase that rectangle, we don't need it anymore. Let's grab the tape measure and measure how long that ended up being. Oh, let's measure it from this side. So along the red axis is 52.1 millimeters. So our whole length was 100 millimeters. We're going to have a 5 millimeter buffer on either side, so 52.1 plus 10. Uh, oh, let's try that again. 62.1 is the length of uh, the name here. We'll subtract 100 from that, and we need to push back 37.9. So if we rotate around this way, and if you push there, again it was 37.9. And now we have his name sort of relatively centered on there. Uh, let's grab a tape measure just to confirm that. We'll measure from here to there. It's three and a half millimeters, so we'll push that back a bit. So that should be fairly centered. And so there's his name extruded up a bit. Now we want to draw a box around this as well. So we'll grab that offset tool. We'll go in a millimeter. And then again, a push. Oh, that's not what we want to push. We want to push this up six millimeters. So it's going to be a little taller than the name. And there is our sort of stamp for Plato, or clay or whatever he's wanting to stamp his name into. Now, if we put it like this, when he stamps his name in, it'll be backwards. So let's Control A. Oh, we need this first. Control A to select all, and then we'll right-click it and flip along red direction. So now it's backwards, uh, and uh, when he stamps in, it will be. Uh, his name forwards on the Play-Doh or clay or whatever. Now we need this in a format that the MakerBot can understand so we will export to an STL file. We're using millimeters and STL is what we want. Open that STL file in Replicator G for the MakerBot. Print with uh, your preferred settings and this is what it looks like.